All right, everyone. I am here with Blake and we've got to stop off to do his boat storage. He's got a trailer right here, pretty nice setup. He's got that tandem island. Boy, you're gonna get some speed with that thing right there. Heck yeah. And uh, he's the one who's actually taken me out. Uh, it's gonna be my first trip BTB fishing since I've been back. I've done it before, but it's nothing like what we're gonna go do tomorrow. So, uh, just gonna get this trailer out, hooked up, and we'll be on the road. We should be heading out really soon, but right now I've gotta charge this. It's always fun getting new toys. I'm not chancing anything when it comes to my safety. You know we can't come to a Bucky's and just pass it up. Definitely gotta stop, stretch the legs. You gotta use the bathroom. This is the place that you wanna do it because they are clean. This is dinner tonight. I'm gonna stop here and get me a nice cheeseburger. You're passing through Texas, definitely gotta come to a place like this. All right, we've made it to our destination, and it was a long drive. Uh, it is 1.45 around about that time in the morning. We've got a 06, 07 launch, somewhere around that time. Uh, it's almost not even worth me setting up my tent, so Blake is back there. He's got a... Uh, a cool deal where it's a cot and tent in one. I know Cabela sells those things and that's what he's gonna sleep in, not me. I'm gonna put some of this stuff from the back seat out into the bed of the truck and then just recline and get some shut eye. See you in the morning. Uh, good morning, I guess. <laughs> it is time to go. It's five in the morning. Didn't get much of a sleep. Uh, it's just, really hard to sleep in these conditions. All right, I gotta get my anchor together and all kinds of other stuff, get the kayak loaded and just figure this thing out. What I was saying here is that I had made it through the surf safely without losing anything overboard. I also couldn't use the external microphone on the GoPro because the surf is just insane. It was too wet of a ride. I was hoping that I didn't take on any water underneath because of the battery and all the electrical terminals and everything else that I have down there. Later on, uh, whenever we made it out to the fishing grounds, I did take off the GoPro's protective case and uh, allowed it to record with its own mic but it, again it was still too unsafe to put that expensive microphone on the GoPro for the better quality audio so just asking you guys to bear with it and take it for what it's worth I mean uh, I just really couldn't uh, put that mic on it I am not going to be able to put the mic on because then the whole slap is going to be hitting the actual camera and it's unprotected so it may be a very expensive mistake especially if i take water straight to it It's a good 14 inches. 
Yeah, I honestly don't know what it looks like. It's got the tail of a, a jack, but the color of a bluefish. All right, marking some decent fish down there. Just a matter of time, there's uh, quite a few fish down there. Nothing big, nothing serious. All pretty small. Should bite within any second. I get the hook out. Yeah, I got one that yeah, that's what this one looks to be. Little fella. A 12 inch little snapper. Nice to catch a, uh, a decent game fish. Get back over to the reef. Right, there are some fish down there. There's a lot of activity right here. I'm just gonna drop straight down, see if. Uh, Anything's just gonna surprise me. There's a bite already. that I've seen so far. So we'll see what it's gonna look like. There we go at the bottom. Oh, I got a double, uh, a double hook up. There we go. That's, there we go. Oh gosh, holy smokies. <laughs> It's gotta be two fish. It's gotta be. Because if it's not and it's one fish, that's gonna be awesome. This is the most pull that I've had the entire day. God, I love these little Travala rods. Super light. Just look at the bend. It's a small little Calcutta 200. Nothing extravagant, but it gets the job done. Yeah, 
get your own stuff. <laughs> Freaking bird. The nerve of that guy. Probably about 13, 14 inches. Well, let me let him get off and then say he got away. Bobby Boucher said, he said, uh, snappers are always mad because they got all damn teeth and no arms to brush his teeth or whatever. Something like that. All right, let's see if this guy measures. 13 incher. Nice. back around, get back in position. Trying to get my bait down there before the birds get me. Y'all work, I got one here for you, buddy. It's a nice size one. Alright, I got some too. You got some of those fish that are eating out those fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. This one's got some bottom in. He's a puller. Keeper, without a doubt. Oh gosh! Oh, I got something here, man! Whoa! <laughs> All right, I got my first keeper. It only took a little while. Here we go. Hooking me up with the bait. Here's another keeper. Like that, that's
that's it everybody the Padre Island trip was a success everybody caught their limit especially with the help of Blake the uh, guy's a beast out here he uh, posted up and he was just catching them one after another I managed to bring in at least three of my own and uh, Blake helped me out with two of them I had a phenomenal time uh, if you like the video please shoot me that thumbs up comments questions leave them down below and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're viewing this video for the first time click that subscribe button I appreciate the support until next time tight lines fellas